the destruction of the world by Fear the Great was halted by a party led by Prini instructor Valva Torres. All of the commotion caused by Judge Nemo settled down, and the netherworld was headed towards recovery. However, a great mystery still remained inside the minds of Fuka, Desco, and Artina, which was... So, since that whole fear the great thing is all settled, I think it's finally time to settle that other thing. What are you talking about? About the story of how Fen Fen met Bowsy. We didn't have time to talk about it on the moon. Oh, that. I'm surprised you still remembered, because I completely forgot about it. Measle, you're such a child. Desco totally remembers about the vow he made to the moon. <laughs> I've been waiting for the perfect time to bring it up, too. And it looks like we have plenty of time now. So, Fen Fen, let's hear it. How did you and Valzi meet? I refuse. Won't you at least consider answering? So, it's something you don't want to talk about. That makes me even more curious. I knew you'd be like this, so I came up with a backup plan. A backup plan? Yep, just watch. Hey, Valzi, about that story we couldn't get to on the moon about you and Ben Fen. So you're just gonna ask him instead? Isn't that more of taking the easier path than a backup plan? As expected of Big Sis, Desco should learn from her determination in executing her plans. Alas, should I simply get rid of you all permanently? Don't get so worked up, Fenric. It's all in the past now. It wouldn't hurt to talk about it. Uh, however, my lord, I have no intention of sharing that kind of... All right. If it's hard for you to talk about it, then allow me. I shall help you share. Please wait, my lord. You're way too honest for a demon. If you're going to say something to make this situation even more uncomfortable, then I'd rather tell it. Now, shall I tell everyone how you and I first met? Truth will be revealed! It happened back when I was still a mercenary. I was on a mission, ordered by a certain party leader. A mission? That's right. The mission was to... assassinate Tyrant Valvatores. A demon named Tyrant. So, you're Fenric. I'm surprised to see that Moonlight Fang, the man that no one wants as their enemy, is such a slender man. Minotrose, the leader of the Demon Party. Unless you want to test my skills in battle right now, state your business already. <laughs> Look at you yelping away. I can see you certainly don't lack confidence. Very well. Let me start with a question. Can you bring me back the head of... Tyrant Valvatores? Depends on the money. Without hesitation, have you never heard of Valvatores? Is that even possible? A vampire whose power is said to even rival that of Death King Hugo's, our next president. I don't blame you for feeling intimidated. I can't let such a powerful man run around freely. Before he thirsts for more power, I must eliminate him. I will eliminate every single demon that gets in my way. Eventually, Hugo too. Then, I will become the Netherworld President. How much is your offer? How much do you want? One hundred million hell. All right. 
I will prepare 100 million hell to exchange for Valva Torres's head. It's a deal. You can just wait with my money. Minitros. A fool fixated on the pseudo-power known as authority. Why doesn't he understand that it would only mean something if he defeated Valva Torres or Hugo himself? He gladly agreed to pay the amount of 100 million hell. <laughs> it was obvious that he had no intentions of paying me from the start. A delirious coward couldn't possibly fulfill the duties of the president. <sighs> Won't I ever meet a worthy demon? A demon who will eventually conquer and reign over all the worlds. A demon who can bring my wish to fruition. Valvatores, the one they call Tyrant. This is the perfect opportunity to finally observe your power myself. I'll worry about how I'll collect my money later. Tyrant Valvatores, brace yourself! Today is the day you will die! <laughs> I hope you're ready yourself. As a demon, you must know the weight of keeping your word. If you can't kill me today, as you proclaim, then you will pay for it with your lives! What the hell are you talking about? Hurry up and die! Are you Valvatores? I need to speak with you. Speak with me? I'm about to fight these demons. Can it wait until this is settled? Very well. In that case, I'll help out. There's no need. I can take care of this myself. I just thought you should see my power before we speak later. I won't get in your way. I'm more useful than some demon aristocrat. Oh, you insist. What are you two chatting about? We don't have time for this crap! Peons with no manners. I'll allow you to fight me, so hurry up and die. The hell? We'll freaking annihilate you and your big mouth! Oh, I almost forgot. Your name? My name is Fenric. I am from the werewolf bloodline, as you can see. Fenric? The Moonlight Pang? Bastards! Ah, whatever! We're gonna sacrifice you to this bloodfest! Thanks to you, I was able to efficiently rid myself of all those irresponsible demons. I appreciate the help. Uh, right. I didn't do much. What? Did he just thank me? Don't be so modest. So, what is it that you wanted to speak with me about? Oh, yes. I see that you're being targeted by other demons. That is correct. A rash of egotistical demons have been trying to prove themselves rather than fulfilling their duty to scare humans. It seems like the quality of the young demons has been degenerating lately. It's rather unsettling. But the more you defeat those demons, the more demons will come after you. There's going to be no end to this. Hire me. I want to work for you. Oh! You want to be my comrade? Comrade? Oh, whatever. I'll just play along for now. That's right. Let us be comrades. You won't regret it. All right. Then we shall be comrades from now on. How can you be so careless? I know I'm the one who offered, but aren't you suspicious of me? What value would suspicion bring? I've already witnessed your power, there's no doubt there. If you want to join me, then join me. But how could you be so sure? How could you have survived in this world for so long by making decisions like that? Easy, I'm strong. I'm strong? Is he an idiot? This idiot is Tyrant Valvatores? Fenric, do you want to know something? In the human world, individuals are bound by trust and become allies. Their teamwork can be quite challenging to overcome at times, even for me. Trust among people can unleash an unexpectedly vigorous power. Trust, you say? I 
think that forcing demons to believe in such a word is impossible. Demons swear by betrayal. Are you saying that you do too, Fenric? Are you going to betray your comrade? No, I... Th that's not what I meant. Then I see no problem. I shall live up to the faith you have placed in me as a proud and noble demon. Fine. What is wrong with this guy? Faith? Trust? Is he serious? I had prepared the perfect excuse to pry my way into being his ally, but I suppose it was completely unnecessary. Is he just an idiot, or is he... I will find out the truth about this tyrant myself. Finfin! I thought you were supposed to assassinate Bowsy. Why did you become his ally? Oh, I bet he had some dark and evil scheme behind it. Desko can't wait to hear the rest! So, Mr. Vampire has always been this weird, huh? Come on! So, what happened next? What more do you want to know? A few things happened after that, and here we are now. That's it. Objection! You're gonna explain to us all about that vow you made to the moon. Fine, I'll take it from here. Please, no! I'll continue. Are you sure? Don't strain yourself. Ready for more? Tell us what happened, Fen Fen. Yeah, come on, hurry! You rats, don't try to. Tell them about it, Fenric. You started this, so you better finish it. You too? Fine, here I go. After I had joined forces with my lord. So, got any leads? I don't know what's bothering you, but I'd like to settle this so I can move on to the human world. I need to create fear in them. As demons, we have to keep the humans in line by making them know fear. The human's fear becomes energy for us demons. All right, I get that you're a diligent demon, but bear with me for a little longer. I'm almost there. I see. Fine. I'll wait until you're ready. I've dragged him around and made him fight against every demon lord we've run into, but... None of his opponents can even come close to comparing with his power. I've stuck some poison into his food, but I haven't seen any changes in him. What secret lies behind his power? I already know that I'll get countered, even if I ambush him. Studying him first was definitely the right call. Anyway... Hey, haven't you ever thought about using your power to rule the netherworld? My job is to punish humans with fear. That's the mission of a proud and noble demon. I have no other interests. You truly are diligent, and rather conservative considering how powerful you are. You're the kind of demon who would put 100% effort into fulfilling your duties, even if you were a Prinny instructor. <laughs> a Prinny instructor, huh? That is a job for powerless demons. I couldn't see myself doing that. Though I'll always do whatever it takes to do whatever I have to do at the time. That philosophy will never change. Whatever you have to do, huh? And that is to punish humans? This man has no ambition. I thought he might be the one, but I may have overestimated him. I think it's about time. Come on out here! I know you're there! Demons who are after Tyrant Valvatores' life! Tyrant Valvatoris, what are you doing here? You guys must be after the bounty that was put on his life. What? Bounty? Huh? He's got a bounty? Sweet. He's all mine. I had no idea about the bounty. I knew there had to be some reason all these demons are coming after you. I see. I wouldn't have known if you hadn't told me. Thanks a lot, Fenric. I'm glad we're comrades. Huh? Oh, it's fine. He thanked me. That's the second time the tyrant thanked me. What is he? Minotros is the man who rules this area. I bet he's the one who put the bounty on your head. Minotros. Do you know him? 
Nope, never heard of him before. Oh, but according to my research, he felt threatened by your reputation as the tyrant, so he decided to get rid of you. What a fool. How can he be so proud of his power if he won't fight me face to face? So, all those I fought so far were corrupted demons tempted by money. Now I understand why they were so weak. How upsetting. If you leave him alone, he will keep getting in your way. What are you going to do? Well, I suppose I must teach him a lesson. That he cannot stop me as long as he relies solely on the power of money. If he wants to defeat me, he had better come challenge me with a power that is even more violent than mine! Come now! To the headquarters of the Demon Party! I thought you'd say something like that, though I'm sure I can handle a peon like him myself. There's no need for you to go. So, just wait here. It'll be easier for me to take care of him if you don't come with me. Is that so? If you insist, I'm counting on you, Fenric. Tyrant Valvatores. I admit that he's strong, but I'm not interested in a demon who is satisfied with only punishing humans. Allies. Trust? He's a worthless. Does he really trust me? Oh, he couldn't possibly. We're demons. We don't trust anyone. We live to betray and hurt each other. Valvatores is no different. I'll never see him again anyway. That was the last time. <sighs> I didn't believe in the words allies and trust back then. I even looked down on Lord Valvatores for believing in them. Mr. Werewolf. How careless can you be anyway, Valzi? You fell for Fen Fen's lies so easily. Well, sure. But Fenric was my comrade. I admire your unfadingly strong will, my lord. So what ended up happening to your mission? Did you pretty much lose interest in Valvatoras and the money? Man, I want to hear the rest of the story, but I think we should take a break. You're right. Desco, let's go get some desserts. Yay! I'm coming, big sis! Okay, let's hear what happened next. Desco, are you ready? Yes, big sis! Desco can't wait! This is the turning point of the story. I can't wait to hear what happens next. <laughs> well... My lord, please, hold on a second. I'm just getting to that point. Oopsie! I almost spoiled the surprise for everyone, didn't I? Yes! <laughs> that was close. Anyway... After I walked away from my lord. What took you so long, Fenric? I thought you must be dead by now. So, where's Valvatoris' head? I gave up. It didn't seem like he would die so easily. However, I still want the money. So I came here to kill you and take it. I should have done this from the beginning. Oh, not even the Moonlight Fang was able to kill Valvatores. So you came here to betray me and take my money, is that right? I know you never intended on paying me in the first place, so we're even. You knew? You must be pretty confident in yourself waltzing in here like this. Do you think you can defeat me with that kind of... Huh? Damn it. What is this? What's happening? That attack just took away your magic power. This area is surrounded by a barrier that completely blocks out the moonlight. Moonlight is the source of the werewolf bloodline's power, correct? Without the power of the moon, you're as weak as a prinny. Did you think I would let a demon as powerful as you live? I knew you were up to something. I underestimated you. 
underestimated you. <laughs> it's great watching you crawl around on the ground like this. Do you see this? It's loaded with silver bullets. Only one thing awaits you now. Yes, it's death. <laughs> Die, Fenwick. This is what you get for your foolish attempt to outsmart me. What? Uh, Tyrant Valvatoris! What are you doing here? What do you think? I'm here to save Fenric. What? <laughs> Don't you know the truth? Who this werewolf really is? He's an assassin sent by me to kill you. As he said, I was after your life for a reward. There's no need for you to defend me. But I have a reason to. What are you trying to... <sighs> what are you doing? Oh, what's the matter? All out of bullets? Why? Why are you defending him? He's a mere werewolf! Is this all Fenric's doing? I don't know what he did, but I see that he's made an alliance with Valvatoris. You're wrong! Fenric and I aren't merely allies. We are comrades! And I am helping Fenric because we're comrades! If I don't save a comrade from their crisis, then I have no right to avert any other crisis! Comrade? Damn it! Stop with your dreamy nonsense already! Are you that stupid? I only became your comrade so that I could kill you and get my money! So why? But you didn't kill me, and that's the truth! So I believe in you. You are still my comrade. Val... Taurus! Sorry it took me a while. I almost lost you there. After you left for the Demon Party HQ, I felt something wasn't right. But it took me a while to find my way here. Forgive me. Forgive you? Damn it, stop with this nonsense! <laughs> Looks like you're still fine. I don't mind defeating this party leader, but I don't think you can last that long. We're getting out of here. I'll just carry you on my shoulder. You idiot! You've been riddled with bullets! Hmm. How touching. I'm so bored, I can't stop yawning. Why don't you give up already? My victory has been assured, seeing how wounded you are. Looks like we've lost them. Are you alright? I'm fine. I'm starting to gain my power back. Let me rest for a bit. Sure. Rest as long as you need to. I'm going back to settle things with Minotros. I won't let him get away with attempting to murder you. T you took all those silver bullets. I know you're not in the best condition yourself. I'm surprised you've made it this far. Stop acting so tough and go get some blood to heal. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. I don't need to rely on human blood to heal these flesh wounds. I've got a strong enough fortitude. A fortitude strong enough to overcome physical wounds? It's ridiculous, but you saved me, and I owe you for that. Don't mention it. Saving a comrade's life isn't worth being thanked for. Damn it, that again? What? Are you still in pain? I'm just annoyed! Comrade? Trust? What are you? Aren't you a demon? A tyrant? Why do you keep babbling about nonsense? Are you an idiot? Is this all a joke? Or do you just enjoy watching me get irritated like this? You still don't get it. Fine. Then let me make things perfectly clear. This is all because I'm a proud and noble demon. Ugh. I... don't understand. Demons exist to punish humans with fear. Humans challenge fear with bonds created through camaraderie and trust. 
How can we really punish humans without understanding trust, the source of the human's power? Can we really cause them fear by drowning in our ideals of betrayal and scheming? By our ego? A proud and noble demon mustn't yield to humans, no matter what! We must always symbolize fear! Symbolize fear? Hence, I shall trust my comrades. Hence, I shall never betray my comrades, nor shall I ever deceive others. I want to always remain a proud and noble demon, and that is all. I see. Symbolize fear. So your goal is not to punish humans, but rather to become a symbol of fear itself. Huh? Hmm. I suppose you could put it that way. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is it now? What are you laughing about? Thank you for that interesting talk. Thanks to that, I feel a lot better. Shall we head back to the Demon Party HQ? I have to return the favor I owe. You still insist on doing that? You don't owe me anything! Not to you. I'm talking about Minotros. He has humiliated me enough. Hmm. <laughs> That's fine with me. But that area is surrounded with a barrier that blocks the moonlight. I can't use my power without it. I see. That explains why you were on the ground when I got there. Hmm. In that case, we can't go back without a plan. I have one. It's rather crude and simple, but with your help... Oh, is that right? You got it. I won't hesitate to help my comrade. <laughs> sure. Jasko was worried about what was going to happen to Fen Fen and Valzi, but everything seems to be fine now. Yeah, that was close. I can't believe Fen Fen got outsmarted by an enemy. I'm embarrassed to have exposed my foolishness to my lord. It's a good example of being too young and ignorant. I've never seen anyone protect someone else by sacrificing their own body before. I regret my shallowness. It's all in the past. What's important is now. Yes, my lord. Thank you. So, do we get to hear the rest of the story now, or what? Finally, the ending! I can't wait! Me neither! I kinda wish the story wasn't gonna end soon, though! <laughs> I know what's gonna happen, so I'll just shut up and save the surprises for everyone. Well now... After that, my lord and I... Sorry for the wait, Minotros! Shall we settle this once and for all? Oh, you're still alive. I shouldn't have underestimated you just because you were injured. I won't ask why you came back. I'm sure it has something to do with returning the favor. I'll just go ahead and kill you now. Bring it on. I won't fall for the same trick twice. I'll return the humiliation a hundredfold. <laughs> Excellent. What can a mere werewolf do without the power of moonlight? Sure, I can't do anything like this. So, Tyrant Valvatores, it's your turn now. I shall show you the moonlight! <laughs> withstand even Overlord-class demon attacks! I don't know anything about architecture, but nothing can stop my will to save a comrade in a crisis. You hear that? Now I can go all out! Why don't you show me what you've got? Hopefully you won't die too quickly. <laughs> of course, that wasn't the only way I was prepared to counter you. Everyone, the one who brings me their heads will be given anything they wish for. Nonsense! If you want our heads, then come get them yourself! As Tyrant Valvatores said, a coward like you is not worthy of the position of party leader. 
the power of a proud and noble demon. Come see it for yourself. Stop. I get it. I lost. How I schemed to assassinate Velvet Torres. How I tricked and almost killed Fenric. I apologize for everything. So please, have mercy. Please don't kill me. P please! If you promise to never mess with my comrade, then there's no point in killing you. What do you say, Fenric? This man has humiliated both of us. He deserves more than what he just got. Please! I'll do anything! Just don't kill me! Who said we were going to kill you? I have no intention of letting you off so easily by simply killing you now. I'll give you pain worse than death. I will make you regret that you begged us to let you live for the rest of your life. Huh? What do you mean? I'm taking you to Hades. H Hades? Are you... I'm a party leader. You can't take me to Hades. Is that so? Taking you to Hades is easier than blowing up a bunch of prinnies. I'll frame you for some stupid crime, take everything away from you, and make you spend the rest of your miserable life in Hades. No, no, no. This can't... No! Hmm. Hades, huh? Well, maybe a good idea for you to learn your lesson down there and start over. No, I... I don't... I don't want to go to Hades! No. He ran away. What a pathetic creature. It's fine. No matter where he's planning to go, I will find him and take him to Hades. Is that so? Then you can handle this yourself. I'm going to the human world. Then I shall come along. What's wrong with you? I thought you became my comrade for money. Your mission was accomplished, right? You're not obligated to follow me. You can go and do whatever you want. Or... Are you still thinking about that favor you owe me for saving your life? It's nothing like that. I'd like to come along simply because that's what I desire. Then, uh, are you saying that you want to keep being my comrade? What's with your new attitude? No, not your comrade. I'd like to serve you as your loyal vassal from now on. Vassal? <laughs> are you out of your mind? You're strong enough on your own. Why would you want to serve me? I'm not interested in anything that I can obtain with just my own power. I've been searching for a demon who can help me accomplish something that's impossible for me to do alone. And I've finally found him. A proud and noble demon who can help me complete the one goal that's always been out of reach. You're saying that demon is me? Yes, that's correct. So, Tyrant Valvatores, no, Lord Valvatores, I dedicate my life to you from here on out. You're going to dedicate your life to me? I, I just saved your life. Why, why would you want to do that? My efforts to save you will only be made worthwhile if you use your life to fulfill your own desires. And that is why I'd like to dedicate the rest of my life to you. That is my desire. You're serious, huh? And just so you know, it's not going to be an easy path to follow. Whatever you wish to do will be my command. I will serve you for the rest of my life. I make this vow to the moon, which is the source of all werewolves' power. Excellent. I will engrave that vow in my heart as well. You shall serve me as long as the moon shines, Fenric. Understood. All is for my lord. This man is the master I have been searching for. This man is the hero who will one day rule the world. The only man who I will trust with my ambitions. Ah, 
And that's all there is to it. Hmm. I'm sure everyone has an even greater understanding of Fenric now. Our ties are stronger than ever! Huh? Um, I'm not sure if I understand this whole thing right. So basically, Fen Fen is trying to do something that he can't do alone by using Valdi's power? That's what Desko thought too. Fenfen has been manipulating Valzi however he wanted up until now. That's not completely wrong. I think you two understood more than I expected. I praise you for that. So you don't deny it? I thought it was only about the passionate friendship between two men. Ugh, didn't you grasp it? The three major factors. Trust, friendship, and a great victory? Well, if he's happy with the outcome, I won't say anything, but... Say what you want. You couldn't possibly fathom the relationship between Lord Val and me. So, Fenfen, -fen, what are you trying to get Valzi to do that you want so much you've dedicated your life to him? What else could it be? It's... Yes? It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs>